Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel today. I am making an art journal page using a stencil and I'm also using a technique that Jennifer McGuire used but I've got a little different spin on it. She used a Misty stamping platform. I'm using a knockoff brand and uh, just put that out there. But first I'm going to go ahead and prepare my page. My art journal page I'm usually creating in is a 9 by 6 and I'm putting masking tape on the back. As you can see it's hanging over the sides so that I can tape this page down to my surface so that it will not move when I use my jelly plate. Now the way Jennifer McGuire was using it, she put the jelly plate on the inside of the Misty door where my jelly plate won't fit um, on the inside it's a little larger because my page is a little larger I've cut my jelly plate down by the way and so I'm putting mine on the outside of the door that's my twist on her technique so um, I also have to put a ruler in between the platform door so that I can easily open it and I'm just kind of taping my platform down so it doesn't move when I'm stamping it from the door that hinge makes it um, move a little bit. So um, I'm going to take my stencil. This is my new fish stencil. The one that's in my Etsy shop is actually smaller than the one I'm using on this page. But I'm just prepping the circle part of it and um, getting my inks ready. And I'll leave the name of the inks in my description as well as the link to Jennifer McGuire's video. So I'm starting out with a lighter color. This is fossilized amber oxide inks. And I'm just going to stamp the entire page. I love this technique. I wish I had thought of this myself. Anywho, um, so I've got my ink down. Now I'm playing with my lighting because it doesn't show up well on the camera. But um, So hopefully it's showing up okay on the video for you. Now I'm placing where I want my stamp, uh, where, excuse me, where I want my stencil to be. And I'm going to go ahead and finish inking up the inside of, I really now want to just concentrate on the inside of the circle. I believe this is pistachio. I think this is pistachio. And um, so I'm stamping that down, and then I'm coming back with a little bit of peacock feather and stamping that over that circle again. Now I've got this bright idea that I want to create the illusion of seaweed at the bottom of this scene. And so I'm using this material here and shredding it a little bit so that it kind of gives that illusion. And I started to cut this part out of the video because it doesn't really work out, but I just wanted you to see um, some of the mistakes that can happen. So I'm inking at the bottom of this, and when I stamp it, it does come out okay. And so now I decide to go to the other side, but not thinking about the left side. And you'll see what I mean here. So when I stamp that, it doesn't really come out on the right. And it's covering, the ink is covering up the left side. So I just decide to nix that whole thing. And I'll do something different at the end. So now I'm putting my circle stencil inside. And I'm going to be coloring these fish multiple colors. Starting with crackling campfire oxide ink. And I'm just putting that in the center of the fish and making their faces purple. This is wilted violet. Now the stencil material that I'm using, it uh, it's hard to see on camera, but it is kind of revealing itself as I'm adding the ink and I'm adding peacock feathers to the fins. Now doesn't that look nice? I like the softness of this image. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my stamping platform and I want to now put some fish coming into the scene and leaving out of the scene. And now I still have my original circle stencil or the mass down so that it's not getting 
so that it, I'm only concentrating on the inside of the circle. Now I'm going to decide, I think I just need one more fin coming out. I'm trying not to go overboard. I've done this so many times and I've gone overboard on a lot of them. So now I have a mermaid stencil and I'm just going to use her wavy hair as the seaweed coming up from the bottom. And I will be going over some of the fish that's at the bottom, but that's okay because that's realist, more realistic. And I'm using peeled paint for the color of the seaweed. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of black soot just to darken it up here and there. Now I want to add a little bit of some bubbles and I'm using Hero Arts. I don't know the, the, the name of this particular white. Oh wait, is that um, Unicorn? I can't remember. But anyway, I'm adding that here and there. I'm just trying to keep the overall softness of, the, of this um, art journal page. And now around this this circle, I just want to emphasize it with some oxide faded jeans. And there you go, there's my page. So I hope you try this stencil. It's in my Etsy shop. Again, it's smaller than what I'm using here. And I'm just showing my jelly plate. I always cut them and I use that smaller strip for homemade washi tape. And um, anyway, there you go. There's another picture of it. And um, I hope you like, subscribe, share my videos, and hit that bell notification so you'll know when other videos are coming out. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.